Saints in two, St. Anthony the Great. St. Anthony was born in Egypt in the year of 251. Anthony was a serious child and was respected and obedient to his parents. He loved to attend church services and listen to the Holy Scriptures attentively. At the age of 20, Anthony lost his parents but was responsible for the care of his younger sister. Going to church, he entered the church and heard the gospel passage, If you would be perfect, go and sell what you possess and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Anthony felt that these words applied to him, therefore he sold his property that he received at the death of his parents and distributed the money to the poor and left his sister in the care of a convent. St. Anthony began his ascetic life in a hut not far from his village. By working with his hands, he was able to earn a living and also alms for the poor. Sometimes a holy youth visited other ascetics living in the area and from each of them sought direction and benefit. In this period of his life, he endured terrible temptations from the devil. The enemy troubled the young ascetic with thoughts of his former life, doubts about his chosen path, concern for his sister, and he tempted Anthony with lewd thoughts and cardinal feelings, but the saint extinguished the fire by meditating on Christ and thinking of eternal punishment, thereby overcoming the devil. St. Anthony tried to accustom himself with the strict way of life. He partook of food only after sunset and spent all night praying until dawn. Soon he slept every third day, but the devil would not cease his tricks at trying to scare the monk. St. Anthony spent 20 years in complete isolation and constant struggle with demons and finally achieved perfect calm. People from all walks of life loved the saint and sought his advice, including pagan philosophers and the emperor Constantine the Great. St. Anthony spent 85 years in the desert. Shortly before his death, he told the brethren that he, soon he would be taken from them. He instructed them to preserve the Orthodox faith and its purity, to avoid any association with heretics, and not to neglect their monastic struggle. Strive to be united first with the Lord, and then with the saints, so that, that after death they may receive you as familiar friends into everlasting dwellings. St. Anthony died peace, peacefully in the year 356 at the age of 105, and he was buried in the desert by his disciples. The life of the famous ascetic St. Anthony the Great was written by St. Athanasius of Alexandria. This is the first biography of a saint who was not a martyr.